this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to evaluate two integrals. So first one, evaluate integral 1 by sine square x into cos square x into dx. Okay. Since we know that sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. So now we can replace 1 by sine square x plus cos square x. So I'll get sine square x plus cos square x by sine square x into cos square x to dx. Since in the numerator we are having two terms, so we can split the total fraction into two fractions. So we'll get sine square x by sine square x into cos square x plus cos square x by sine square x into cos square x into dx. So here sine square x gets cancelled and cos square x gets cancelled. So you will get integral 1 by cos square x plus 1 by sine square x into dx. Okay. Since we know that reciprocal of cos x is secant x, if you square on both sides, you'll get 1 by cos square x equals to secant square x. Likewise, reciprocal of sin x is cosecant x. By squaring on both sides, we'll get sin square x equals to cosecant square x. Okay. So now this becomes integral of 1 by cos square x is replaced with secant square x plus 1 by sin square x is replaced with cosecant square x into dx. Okay. So this equals to integral secant square x dx plus integral cosecant square x dx. Since we know that integral secant square x dx equals to tan x plus c and integral cosecant square x dx equals to minus cot x plus c. Okay. So this equals to tan x plus Integral cosecant x. Integral secant square x is tan x plus integral cosecant square x is minus cot x plus integral constant c. So this equals to tan x minus cot x plus c. So therefore, integral 1 by sin square x into cos square x is tan x minus cot x plus c. Okay. Now coming to the second problem. Integral cos 2x by sine square x into cos square x into dx. Okay. Since we know that cos 2x equals to cos square x minus sine square x. So now we are going to replace cos 2x with cos square x minus sine square x. So we will get integral cos square x minus sin square x by sin square x into cos square x into dx. Since we are having two terms in the numerator, okay, and we are having minus, 
So we have the fraction. We can change it in. Uh, we can write this fraction into two fractions. Okay. I'll get two terms or else. Four square x by. Plus sine square x by okay. So we have written a single fraction to two fractions, otherwise two terms. Okay. So now we can cancel cos square x cos square x sine square x sine square x. So we'll get integral. 1 by sine square x plus 1 by cos square x into dx. Okay. We know that reciprocal of sine x is cosecant x. If we square on both sides, we'll get 1 by sine square x equals to cosecant square x. And 1 by cos x is secant x, the square on both sides will get 1 by cos square x equals to secant square x. Okay. So this becomes integral 1 by sine square x can be replaced with cosecant square x plus plus or minus. See you will get minus here. Okay. Minus minus 1 by cos square x can be replaced with secant square x into dx. So, this is equals to integral cosecant square x dx minus integral secant square x dx. Since we know that integral cosecant square x dx equals to minus cot x plus c and integral secant square x dx equals to tan x plus c. Okay, so this becomes minus cot x minus tan x plus integral constant c. So, therefore, integral cos 2x by sine square x into cos square x into dx equals to minus cot x minus tan x plus c. So, this completes the problem. So we have seen two integrals in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.